The fourth dimension, is there more to space than we see? Hi everyone, welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the mysteries of the universe and beyond. Today, we're going to talk about a mind-blowing topic. The fourth spatial dimension. What is it, how can we imagine it, and what evidence do we have for its existence? Could it be possible that the universe has a hidden dimension that we can't see or touch? Let's find out. We're used to dealing with three spatial dimensions in our everyday life, length, width, and height. These are the directions that we can move in and measure objects with. For example, if you want to describe the size and shape of a box, you need three numbers, its length, width, and height. This is what we call 3D space, or three-dimensional space. But what if there was another direction that we can't perceive, orthogonal to the other three? This would be the fourth spatial dimension, or 4D space. To imagine this, we can use an analogy with lower dimensions. Think of a 2D space, or a flat plane, where you only have two directions, left, right, and up, down. This is like the world of a video game character in a 2D platformer. Now imagine that there is another direction perpendicular to the plane, like in out. This would be the third dimension for the 2D creature, but it would be invisible to them. They would only see a cross-section of the 3D objects that intersect their plane. Similarly, we can think of the fourth dimension as a direction perpendicular to our 3D space. We would only see a cross-section of the 4D objects that intersect our space. For example, a 4D cube, also known as a tesseract, would look like a smaller cube inside a larger cube, connected by lines at each vertex. This is because we are seeing a 3D slice of the tesseract, just like the 2D creature would see a square slice of a cube. But how can we tell if the fourth dimension actually exists in our universe? Well, one way is to look for its effects on the physical phenomena that we observe. For instance, some scientists have proposed that gravity is weaker than the other fundamental forces because it leaks into the fourth dimension. This could explain why gravity is so hard to unify with quantum mechanics, which describes the other forces. Another way is to look for evidence of higher dimensional objects or phenomena in our 3D space. For example, some experiments have shown that electrons can behave as if they are moving in a 4D space under certain conditions. This is called the quantum Hall effect, and it involves applying a strong magnetic field and a low temperature to a thin layer of material. The electrons then move in quantized energy levels that depend on the strength of the magnetic field and the area of the material. However, some experiments have found that these energy levels also depend on another parameter that has no meaning in 3D space. This suggests that the electrons are experiencing an extra dimension that we can't see. Some other experiments have tried to create or detect micro-black holes, which are tiny black holes that could have formed in the early stages of the universe. These black holes could have different sizes and masses depending on how many dimensions they exist in. If they exist in four dimensions, they would be smaller and more energetic than if they exist in three dimensions. They would also emit radiation called Hawking radiation, which could be detected by instruments. However, none of these experiments have conclusively proven or disproven the existence of the fourth dimension. They only provide hints and possibilities that need further investigation and verification. There are also many theoretical and practical challenges for exploring this idea, such as how to define and measure distances and angles in 4D space, how to visualize and manipulate 4D objects, and how to reconcile 4D physics with our current understanding of reality. So, to sum up, the fourth dimension is a hypothetical concept that extends our notion of space beyond the three dimensions that we experience. It could have profound implications for our understanding of the universe and its fundamental laws. However, we don't have enough evidence or tools to confirm or reject this hypothesis yet. We need more data and more creativity to test this idea and other alternatives. Until then, we can only speculate and wonder about what lies beyond our perception. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Science Telly for more videos like this one. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.